engineering design process the first chapter of fundamental design of manufacturing for mi and in this chapter today i will discuss on what is the engineering design what is the engineering design process and explain with a suitable example now start with what is the engineering design look design is the language of engineers we can easily communicate with other people regarding any product design by just producing the design of that product even though we may not know his language in many book we will find the different different of definition for a engineering design uh, in here i quote some uh, some design from those books please go through this slide and you can know the different de definition of engineering designs now we come in the topic type of engineering de design we can uh, divide the engineering design with reference to different categories and different parameters here i discuss about some type of engineering design the first is original design original design is also called innovative design look the name suggest innovative that means in this uh, form of design there must have some innovation to produce a product now second is adaptive design adaptive means you can adapt something from existing design now i give you example of both design type to make you understand better way for original design the best example is invention of microprocessor and electricity look after invention of microprocessor and electricity lot of machine is developed with basis of this concept so invention of microprocessor and electricity is a innovative design or original design product now for adaptive design the best example of adaptive design is the look in printing purpose early days we are using only dot matrix printer now we are using inject printing laser printing see the product is same the purpose is same all are doing the printing but the technology is updated or adapt some technology to serve the customer better way the next design type is is redesign redesign is a process where the existing design is the same but we are redesign some portion or some part of this to overcome the cost of manufacturing to reduce the cost of labor and to make satisfied customer in better way it is also called variant design now we are entering the main portion of what is the engineering design process look here i give you a block diagram to make you understand better way that, that the first step of the block diagram is specific information where the customer need is taken by the survey or by the other technique we have to collect the customer need now it is followed to the design operation section that means in this section the design engineer are planning to satisfied the customer need and for this purpose they need some information regarding the customer need and they collect the general information about the customer need <coughs> and they collect that the some work has has been done on this need or not in existing market or some solution is already available or not for the customer need so according to the collect the general information they make a design and forward to the next level and the in the next level the outcome of the designing operation we have to evaluate that we have to evaluate the basis of customer need we have to evaluate that the product the design is fulfill the customer need or not if it fulfill the customer need then we transfer it to next level or feedback to the again design operation in this slide i mention the every step uh, of block uh, which i already told so uh, you can download this slide from our, our website now we moving to our next slide and it is a vital one i take a example to elaborate the engineering design process to make you understand better way here i take a example of making a washing machine 
see the block diagram I give the stepwise block diagram and it is uh, very much popular because uh, lots of books are given this bo uh, block diagram and now uh, discuss the di different block function the first step is need need should be identified by customer request let's suppose customer want upgrade operation of their washing machine they want uh, in their wash washing machine to drying and pressing both now the next step of block is goal here the designer must specify that w what must be done to resolve the problem and after the goal we come market analysis in in this section collect the information on any solution already available or not any other company work on that or not those type of general information we should collect before we planning to make a design for a product now the next function uh, next step is function now what is a function function is we have to set a plan how our machine will work now see the block diagram a simple small block is i given in below in here you you can see that we give the input a solid dart cloth to a washing machine and after this processing in washing machine the clean cloth in upper side and dart is removed in below now next block is specification in this category we have to look forward to lots of or more consideration like time required to washing and drying power consumption water needed weight and dimension of the washing machine all those criteria are very accessible for customer to purchasing any product the next step is conceptualization we can solve problem in different process or you can say we can uh, solve in different concept like in washing machine separate dart by agitation remove dart, dart by ri re uh, rinsing remove water by spinning dry cloth by trembling all are the all are those possible concept can implement to making a washing machine um, now after set a concept different different of concept to making a washing machine our work to forward this concept to next section the next section is concept selection now in this step we select the best concept to satisfy the customer need and after concept selection we have to analysis what type of analysis done here now we have to analysis different type of component which is needed for making our machine with technological economical and manufacturing consideration after completing all those steps the final and most important step uh, step is marketing because after making our product we have to sell so we have to set a different different scheme to satisfy the distributor satisfy the dealer satisfy the retailer and at least we have to satisfy the customer for their need so it is a complete process of design to design a very good product thank you i take a reference from book of data and others